Hey. Huh? <laughs> What's going on, kings and queens? Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. It's your boy. Your favorite boy. Yeah. Alright, so today I'm going to be discussing something that I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious about. So the topic of this video is inspired by the man, uh, Emerald Cows, yeah. Do you get picked on at school because you have a YouTube channel? Alright, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what my life is like outside of YouTube as far as like how people treat me at school and just around certain areas of my life. I mean, I made a really good, uh, okay. I made a lot of really good commentaries, but one of my favorite commentaries is one where I talked about this, but I didn't go into too much depth uh, about how I get treated. I'll link that video at the top of the description. It's I, I titled the video like, I'm famous, oh my god, and I just talked about how YouTube has affected my life, but I think I should go more in depth about how people treat me at school. So when I first started YouTube and I really started getting into it, you know, doing gameplay commentaries and things like that, I was a freshman in high school and nobody really knew about my channel besides like close friends until I hit around 300 subscribers and that's when people started finding out, you know, people around school would watch my videos and uh, the basis of the question asked in this video is did I get picked on and I wasn't like hardcore bullied for my YouTube channel, but you know, people would kind of jokingly, like they'd kind of make a joke of it. They'd be like, oh, hey, Royal Gilly. And, and like, when I had 300 subs and my videos were kind of terrible, I was extremely ashamed of them. Uh, I didn't, I was not proud of my YouTube channel at all. I didn't like go around telling people about it. I still don't do that, but I really wanted to keep my YouTube channel a secret, you know? And I'm sure there's plenty of you who are watching this and you have a YouTube channel. If you are in school and uh, you need some advice on how to deal with like people watching your YouTube channel, the first thing I got to tell you is if you are going to do YouTube, you cannot be ashamed of what you're doing. You have to be fucking proud of it, you know? And it kind of sucks when people give you shit for it. I mean, I'm sure, I hope some of you... Uh, can relate to this otherwise I'm just talking to nobody right now but if you have a YouTube channel and people at school give you shit about it you just gotta completely ignore it I know it's difficult and honestly I mean I wasn't picked on like I said but it motivated me as fuck to like to grow my channel to make better videos when people would kinda joke about it and uh, I did so fast forward past me having 300 subscribers, people are, you know, constantly making jokes about my YouTube channel, kind of giving me shit for it. Uh, I, you know, I started becoming more creative as a person and as a YouTube video creator, I started talking about those dirty little things and, you know, talking about things that people could relate to, like especially teenage guys, you know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> <clears> ha! <throat> wow. But, yeah, I mean, as soon as my channel started becoming somewhat successful, my whole attitude completely changed. Instead of wanting to keep it a secret, I was like, fuck yeah, I'm Royal Gilly. I got 25k subs, I'm making so much fucking money, getting all these views and shit. I really didn't care what people thought because, I mean, at the end of the day, I had something to go home to that I could be proud of, that I can make money from, that, you know, is extremely beneficial and... Most people look at this channel and the YouTube gaming scene in general kind of like just, it's like a fucking joke, right? I mean, especially to people who, who don't watch these kind of videos and who aren't into it, it's the hardest thing when somebody finds out about my YouTube channel, right? Or I tell them that I make videos and they say, oh, what do you do? That is the worst question. That is the utmost Oh, I fucking hate getting asked that question. What kind of videos do you make? That's fucking hard to explain, right? Because to somebody who's from the outside, it's like, oh, I I make gaming videos, but it's not about the games. I just have it in the background, and I talk about stories from my life. And it's, it's just like, ah, oh, it's confusing to people. And unless they're, like, subscribed to me and they've watched, like, 15 of my videos... It's hard for them to kind of grip that or grasp that and understand what I'm doing. Because when you tell people, like, oh, I make video game videos. Oh, you do walkthroughs? No, I just, uh, I tell stories from my life. 
but what's the point of the video game gameplay? It's weird, right? And people always kind of judge me when I tell them about my videos. And unless they have watched them, like I said, it's kind of hard for them to understand. Anyways, back on topic. So, I kind of blew up on YouTube. Not that I didn't blow up at all. I don't think I'm a big channel right now. But I, what I mean by blow up is I went from a small channel to a bigger channel very, very quickly. Like, in the matter of a couple months, right? So... People treated me like it just kind of like snapped into this whole different kind of environment at school to where people would joke about it to where people were really fucking impressed and kind of like proud to be friends and to have been watching my videos and to go to school with me, you know, so it's kind of weird. It was really weird for me for people to be like total assholes and then like being nice to me and telling me how how much they love my videos and shit like that, but I mean, sometimes there's those weird kids who take pictures of me and shit, but still, every day, every single day of my life, I think somebody at school compliments my YouTube channel, and it's really, really awesome. Yeah, I think that's kind of an idea, hopefully, that gives you an idea of how I get treated at school because of my YouTube, but yeah, it's not bad at all. It's pretty damn good. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Hopefully it was interesting. I love you. I love you a lot. A fucking lot. You're amazing. Goodbye!